Hello everyone, welcome to STEM Quest show. Uh, we are here and our quest today is about protecting the planet. We love our planet Earth. We want to hug it all the time. So we need to be aware of the things that we should do. What are our responsibilities? And we will be exploring it with uh, Singapore Science Center uh, and Twin Science today. And we have our friends from all over the world. We have Edward and Kozo from Singapore, Ethan and Danush from UAE, Beril is attending from Turkey, and we have Eva and Joshua from England. Uh, uh, Sunny will be attending from Science Center Singapore. And as you know, uh, last week we introduced as well, uh, there's a STEAM festival of Singapore Science Center. We will be giving more information about it uh, during our show, of course. So my name is Jihan, and I am the chief content officer of Twin Science. And we have been doing this show since March. So it has been a while, and we were uh, in holiday, let's say, during the summer. And now we are starting back. And thanks for joining us. Uh, I will give you some information about how to participate from YouTube. But before that, uh, we will have uh, Sunny, uh, uh, and she will introduce herself, and then we will uh, meet with our participants and co-hosts today. So welcome to the show, Sunny. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Sunny, and I'm from Singapore Science Center. I'm from a department called uh, Kidstop, and it's a children's science center where a lot of children can come over to enjoy and learn about science through meaningful play. All right, and a bit about myself. Uh, I also love to go to nature to observe the different uh, things such as the sky, the plants, and also the animals. All right. And I hope that we can all learn about how to protect our planet from each other today. <laughs> Perfect. So maybe, Sunny, we can meet with our co-host today. Yes, that's right. Okay, first up, maybe let's have Ethan and Danush to introduce yourself. How about Ethan? Can you tell us more about yourself? Okay, hello everybody. My name is Ethan John Anish. I study in Ambassador School Sharjah. I know Danush, he's my friend. My favorite subjects are science and math. Mm, I love all animals and I like swimming. Okay, very good. <laughs> good exercise. Now, how about Danush? Do you want to share a bit more about yourself? Yes, my name is Danush. I study in Sharjah Ambassador School, UAE, and I know Ethan. Uh, my favorite subjects are uh, science and max. And this is my fourth time attending in Twin Science show. <laughs> and I really love the last show, which is Nature Explorer. Oh, that's oh. great to hear. <laughs> Anush, I can see uh, uh, there is uh, on the board, it writes, anti-bullying. So there's a very nice <laughs> message. There's a very nice message for everyone. We yes. do not bully each other. And also we take care of our planet as well. So anti-bullying against our planet. So it is a very nice message for today as well. Thank you, Danush. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> All right. How about let's hear from Eva and Josh. Okay. Now, uh, Joshua, do you want to tell us more about yourself? Uh, hello, my name is Josh. I'm 14 years old and I attend um, he Heathrow, UTC Heathrow School. Mm, that's nice, Josh. Okay, Josh is our oldest today and we can learn something from him. All right, how about Eva? Hi, my name is Eva and I'm 10 years old and I attend Manakoff Primary School. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. It's really nice to see both of you here, Eva and Josh. All right, how about let's have Beryl to introduce yourself. Hi, Beryl. 
Hi, uh, my name is Bill and I'm joining from Istanbul. I am 13 years old. I'm an eighth grader. And I think my favorite subjects are uh, social studies and science. Oh, that's really nice. All right, and now let's hear from Edward. Edward, can you tell us a bit about yourself? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Edward Wijaya Sienting. <laughs> and yes. my age is six years old, going to seven. Hmm. And yes, what do you like to do during your free time? I like to do is play games and cycling and drawing like comics. Yes, very good. You have a lot of hobby. And last but not the least, let's hear from Edward. Uh, Joy, come Joy, tell us more about yourself. Hi, my name is Joy. I'm seven and a half years old. I'm from Singapore. Very good. Okay, and what else? <laughs> During my free time, I like to build Lego. Oh, okay, that's very good. Very creative of you. And now that we have know all about each other, how about we can? I think we can start our Steam Quest show. Yeah, just a quick reminder for our uh, YouTube participants. Uh, uh, people who are watching from YouTube can also join our show from chat box. So when we ask a question, you will have 10 seconds to answer those questions from live chat and we will be collecting your answers. But what for? The winners of the today will win twin science kits and we will be sending robotic art kit to our participants, to winners uh, from YouTube. So uh, if you are ready, uh, stay focused guys and don't forget to think and decide uh, and then write your answers for, uh, from the chat box because you will have chance to win robotic art kit of Tevin Science. So we will be collecting your answers from chat box and uh, uh, you can only write the letter of the option. So if the Right answer you think is A, just write A and just write it for one time because we will be collecting the first answers, not your second answers. So uh, this is a quick reminder. And also at the beginning of the show, I uh, opened a video for you guys. This Twink mobile application is available in mobile stores, App Store or Google Store, and you can download it for free. And there are lots of different challenges related uh, with protecting the planet as well. So the questions that we will be asking today uh, will be related with planet protection. And also there are lots of challenges and experiments available for free inside of the Wing mobile application. Ethan and Danush have already shared some experiments in there, I know that, and uh, they are uh, online in Twink. So you can meet with friends in there and share lots of experiments. So yeah, we are about ready. And uh, today we will be protecting the planet. Let's start right. our quest with question one and Sunny. Yeah. All right, everyone, let's start our planet protector question one. Let's invite the hands share the next slide. Oh, what is it about? It's about the harmful effects on marine life. Oh dear, let's take a look at what are some harmful effects that is happening to our marine life now. Okay, Tuhan, maybe you can see the video. Okay, let's take a look. Now, Beryl, do you know what the living thing is shown in the video? Do you uh, think it's... No, I don't know. I've never seen this before. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. Uh, do you think um, it's a plant or is it an animal? It Does looks it like a plant. Yes, okay. It looks like a plant. Okay, how about Tasha? Tasha, do you have any idea? Is it a, an animal or a plant?
Okay, uh, Joshua. Okay. Um, don't worry. Maybe how about let uh, Joshua? Would you like to? Uh, uh, it looks like maybe coral, cause coral. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Okay. So this is a coral. Okay. And um, so what is the coral doing? What do you think? Uh, <laughs> is it letting out air? It looks like it's letting out air or something. Okay, is it letting out air or something? No. Uh, Edward, do you want to say something? Okay, Edward, what do you want to share? This coral actually, the coral is bleaching. Bleaching, okay. What is bleaching? We'll find out more later. Okay, now let's take a look. Ethan, is something, uh, there's something coming up from the coral. Is there a color to it? You see, is there some color coming up? Yeah, there's some kind of gas coming out of it. Yes. Is it is it a gas? No, Danush, do you think it's a gas? No, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but I think it is um air, carbon dioxide. Air. Okay. What about Joy? What do you think it is? Gas. Yeah. Yes, it's also gas. Okay, now let me share a little bit about this with you, okay? So this is a coral. It's made of a lot of little tiny animals living together called polyps. So inside this coral, okay, there are many, many tiny polyps that come together and they will uh, take root to the sea floor, okay? And inside them, okay, they live Another tiny organism, it's called an algae, okay? An algae is a plant-like thing that helps the coral to make food. Hmm. But you know what? When the algae helps the coral to make food, when the coral is under a certain condition, the coral will, um, how should I say, um, eject all the algae, okay? Let's find out more in our question. Let's take a look at question one. I'm like, hey, helps the coral to make food. Hmm. But you know what? When the algae helps the coral to make food, hmm. when the coral... Just before the question, guys, uh, just a quick reminder. The YouTube chat was closed and open now. So participants from YouTube can refresh the page and then we, I will wait for five seconds now for them to refresh the page because uh, we want them to also uh, see the questions. I'm sorry for that. It is open now. I'm just waiting for the confirmation from my friends. Uh, So I think, yeah, it is open now. Yeah, okay, we are good to go. So here's the question. All right. Well, let's take a look at take what look. is the question. Now, let's think about why the coral is behaving this way. Why is it um, squeezing its body and letting out something, okay? Something that is colored, which is the algae that helps it to make food, okay? So it's... It is removing excess water from its body or B to react to an increase in temperature of the water or C to remove excess waste substance from its body or D to scare off its predator. Now we'll have 10 seconds and we can answer in the chat box. Your time starts now. <laughs> Now we have a variety of answers and right now we also stop receiving answers from YouTube. Now let's take a look. All right, there are some of us who chose A, some of us who chose C and some of us who chose B. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Beryl, ah, you feel, okay, you feel that, okay, what was, you feel that the thing that was removed was some waste substance? 
Uh, yes. Okay. So, and why didn't you choose D? I don't know. It didn't feel like <laughs> it, it was kind of like... scary. Uh, okay, yeah, it's not scary. <laughs> so I thought at first it could be A, but then like if it was underwater, there wasn't any air bubbles. <laughs> Okay, so, there are no air bubbles. Okay. Yeah, that's why I thought that will be a substance. Okay, it's a substance. All right, and how about Anush? Anush, yeah, I choose I choose to see because uh the question was it why uh, why is it behaving like that and it it is harmful to us so and none of them showed it was harmful. Uh, okay. Only the option C was showing uh, it, uh, it, it, uh, it okay. gives waste, yes, yes. removes okay, waste, so and so the so water will become harmful. Oh, yes. Yeah. So uh, it's because, okay, you feel that the coral is getting out something that's harmful for its body. So you chose C, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the video and we'll see whether uh, it could be other options which could be harmful for the coral as well. Now let's take a look. Okay, so this is a young coral. Okay, this is the coral polyp which is the little animal and it's taking in something. Okay. Now, Edward, what color did the coral polyp become? After it take in something, the algae. Red. Red, very good. Okay. And let's move on. Let's look at brown. the new Yes, it's brownish. Okay. Okay. Reddish or brownish. Oh, Joy, what is happening now? Joy. It's more. Okay, there are more, more of them. Okay, so the polyps will grow. Okay, that's how the coral grow. Okay. And now, Ethan, is there more than one coral now? What colors do you see? Mm, I see so many colors. So many colors, okay. Orange, purple, green, <laughs> orange, green. yellow. Okay, very good. Eva, do you see another color other than green and orange? And there's also red. Red, okay, very good. So corals, okay, they have colorful pigments mm -hmm. to, that can protect themselves from the sun. Oh, oh no, there's something which is happening. Russia, what is happening to one of the coral? What is happening, Joshua? As there's more corals and the more days go by, the temperature increases. Yes, so, very good. Yeah. Hey, what? What happened when the temperature increased? The cor uh, corals colors it loses its colors and turns into black. Yes, loses its colors. Okay, now Edward, what you want to say something, Edward? Yes, my answer okay. is when the heat gets higher, then yes. coral will die. <laughs> All right, okay. So, uh, for okay, maybe let's take a look at the video again. Okay, so for Edward, he says that when uh, it's very, very hot, the corals will die. All right, okay. Now, at extreme conditions, they will die, but there's still a way to save them, all right, by reducing the temperature and also. Um, by making, by reducing their stress. So let's take a look. When the temperature increased, all the coral turned white. What's happening is because if you are to look at the first video, it was giving out something, right? Remember? Yes. Okay, so that thing wasn't the waste substance. It is actually all the tiny thing, okay, that lives inside the coral to help make food. It's called algae. Okay, so the algae will give the coral its color as well. And when all this algae goes out of the coral, the coral will turn white. Okay, so when it's when uh, the 
doesn't have algae for a long time, okay, it can't really reproduce properly and it also cannot um, make food, okay. So eventually, it may die, okay. It, it's a very, very long-term situation, okay. So when it's very hot, the coral, okay, the coral he will release some toxic substance to the coral as well and the coral will want to let it out, which is called coral bleeding. Okay, now shall we take a look at the next question? I can ask one question, guys. Why do you think corals are important? Oh, yes. Why, is Why do you think important? corals are important? Huh? Come on, come on, come on. Give me some answers, guys. Baby? Yeah? Okay, yes, Beryl? Um, they're cleaning the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have um, to filter out. And, water um, sometimes? Like fishes live there. And yeah. like they're cleaning the water and the air. Yeah. Like so think about it. We have all these forests, right? Green forest. And most of the uh, li uh, living population, like most of the most of the animals, most of they're the like a source of food. Yeah, yeah. These forests are source of food, source of air, oxygen, Ooh, right? Medicine. So corals do the same thing inside of water, under the water. And there's a huge coral forests covering <laughs> all over the world, all over the oceans. And right now, increase in the temperature, sea temperature, threatening their life. And we need to be, we need to be taking we need to be taking care of them. I mean, we need to be responsible. We need to feel responsible for increasing the temperature, okay? So what if you are using some, like, I don't know, fossil fuels in your cars, if you are consuming too much electricity, if you are leaving the lights on when you don't need them, you might think that there's an effect on climate action, climate change, and climate change increase in the temperature, they affect forest on land and corals underwater. So yeah, let's go to question number two. That's right. So we must protect this mini rainforest, which is the home to many animals. All right. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at question two. Okay, it is about an increase in the Earth's temperature. So just now in question one, we learned that the hot weather, okay, or the increase in temperature is not good for the coral, okay? And many animals will lose their homes like that, like the fishes, the lobsters, okay? Let's take a look at this video to find out more. Now, Beryl, do you think that the land is very dry or wet? Um, can you say it again? Okay, do you think that the weather is very hot now or is the land very dry? In the video? Yes. Um, it's dry. Okay. And Tori, what do you see over here? Oh, uh, it's in the city and I can't even see any forest. Yes, that's right. There's no forest. Yeah. Oh, Joy, do you see anything in the video? It's like they're burning away or something. Yes, they're burning something, okay? The factories are releasing something. And okay. I can see some pollution in the factories, by the factories. Okay, there are some pollution, okay? Harmful gases. All right. And, oh dear, what's happening? Now, Ethan, what do you think the sun is giving out to Earth? Hmm? What do you think the sun is giving to Earth? Sunlight. Sunlight, okay. Heat. Would that be something Heat. more? Heat, okay. We like hey. Heat, okay. That Joshua? thing is going to the Earth and, it, and then it's bouncing off. Yes, it's bouncing off, okay. But Joshua, do you have something to the, say? Um, sun rays from the sun. sun the radiation rays, yes. that the sun 
gives out. Yes, radiation, very good. Okay, there are different radiations like infrared, which is the heat. Okay, we also have light that we can see and also light that we can't see, which is UV rays. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move forward a little bit. Okay, move to the start of the video. Okay, move to the front part. Okay, now let's take a look again. As Beryl said just now, okay, the land seems to be quite dry. And Eva, okay, Eva, okay, later on, I would like you to share with me what you see in the video. Um, the plants are growing. Yes, the plants, okay, growing, okay. And the ice, does it seem to be very frozen or is it a little bit melting? Melting. Is it melting? Is it starting to melt? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then Edward, what do you see over here? Edward, what do you see? So many, many cars are driving over there. Okay, there are a lot of cars driving. Okay. Now, Anush, do you think the cars will let out something? Yes, it will let out it. Be, uh, is it's gas. Okay, yes, yeah. there are a lot of gas. Okay, Ethan, do you think that the gas is good for good for our planet or not good? Mm -hmm. The gases that the cars let out, is it good for the nope, planet? not at all good. Okay, so humans are doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there was a factory just now as well, okay, that we saw, uh, which was emitting a lot of gases. Now, let's go to the question to take a look at what is causing the increase. Now, what is causing the increase in temperature of our Earth? Is it A, the moon is giving off more heat to Earth, or B, layers of air that surround the Earth is getting thinner, or C, Sorry? Okay, or is it C? Okay, the release of gases which surround Earth that trap the heat. Or is it B? Earth is going closer to the sun. Now we have 10 seconds to reply. Now, I'll time start now. Wow, very good. This time all of us chose almost, yes, we all chose the same answer. Okay. Oh, okay. And we have a few different answers as well. Now, Ethan, do you want to uh, tell us what uh, uh, more about what you think about this question? Mm. <laughs> yes, why do you think the Earth's temperature is increasing? Because the Earth is getting closer to the sun. Okay, are we are we moving? Okay. <laughs> the Earth is yeah. part of this solar system. Okay, and we will move around the sun because the sun has gravity that holds us together. Okay, we will move in a circular okay orbit. But you know, as the sun, which is a star, okay, it's burning, but slowly, slowly, it's not burning as much, and the gravity holding up to the sun will be weaker. I think that will be Closer to the sun or further away, it is weaker. If the sun's gravity to hold up is weaker, will it be closer or further? Now, okay. Now, usually, okay, the, the, the earth will go around the sun because the sun has gravity that is able to pull the earth towards it. But now, the sun's gravity is getting lesser and lesser. Will earth be closer or further away? Now that sun can't really pull up as much, will it be closer or further? <laughs> Any idea? <laughs> Any idea, the rest? No. Okay, you like, if I pull you, like if I pull you, right, you come towards me. If yes, we'll be I closer. The pulling force, you go further away, right? Yeah. So. It is about the force that I apply to you. So if sun is pulling earth towards itself, the temperature might be higher, but 
what happens if the gravity that sun applies, meaning that if it pulls Earth less and less, what happens to the position of Earth? Okay, okay sun. Okay. To be further. Yeah. Okay, you get a bit further, okay, because the sun can't pull on Earth as much, okay? So let's take a look at what other options we have. Okay. Now, uh, Joshua, do you want to share with us what do you think about this question? I put C because, like, okay. I didn't think it was B because the point of us releasing gases is supposed to be more and more, and it says layer mm -hmm. of, of air surrounding the Earth are getting thinner. And then I also thought because of at the end of the other video, some of the sun rays weren't reflecting back up. So maybe it's trapping this, um, the rays in. Yeah, here. Okay, yes, very so good observation. I have okay, something so to say. Yes, yes, Nanush. I can definitely eliminate um, D because okay. it's about like how the sun is taking the uh, pressure. Okay. Uh -huh. So, okay. All of us, uh, okay, most of us want to eliminate B, yes, because throughout the video, okay, there are a lot of uh, areas which show that um, the cars are releasing gases, the factories are also releasing gases, okay, so the layers of air will be thicker instead of thinner. All right, and Beryl, you have something to say? You want to say something? Uh, I was just going to say that uh, I know that moon hasn't changed so i just eliminated a and d because uh the way earth moves hasn't changed too uh i was okay. thinking I, I mean i was between b and c and i don't know c made more like sense uh, because mm -hmm. the more he heat uh, world traps inside the more the temperature gets higher yes so that's why i said c Okay, very good. Okay, so for moon, yes, it didn't really change. And the amount of light which is reflects from the sun, okay, it's not as much and it doesn't really uh it doesn't really transmit the heat from the sun as well. Okay, so let's take a video to find out more. Okay, of what is causing our earth to have an increase in the temperature. Okay, now maybe. Let's take a look. Okay. Now, Jory, what do you see over here? Jory, what is shown over here? There's heat going inside the house. Okay, there's then, something going inside. And then okay. the, the house trapped the heat. Okay, the house is trapping the heat. Okay. And let's take a look. Okay, now Edward, what is happening? Just now, the sun was, what was the sun doing to Earth? Trapped. Okay, that something is trapped. <laughs> okay, we have three types of gases over here. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane. Okay, now how about let's stop over here for a while. Let's go to the front of the video to look at what is that. Okay, now, uh, Ethan, can you see through the house? Hmm? Are you able yeah. to see through the house? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, now, the house is very special. This house is called a greenhouse. Okay, okay, let's pause the video. Okay, and okay, stop over here. Now, Danush, what do you see in the house? What is in the house, Danush? Is it plants? Yes, plants. Very good. Okay, this type of house is a special house designed to grow plants. Okay, and it's clear so you can see through. So that sunlight can pass through. Okay, but something isn't going out. Now, Beryl, what do you think isn't going out? Yeah, um, it's like we can say that it's like Earth. 
uh, it mm-hmm. keeps the temperature inside. That's why mm-hmm. it helps. Um, I mean, it helps to grow something inside. Okay, yeah, so, uh, yes, this greenhouse, okay, it's like, oh, something is trapping heat, okay, to earth. Now, Farmers let's see. use the greenhouse for plants, and they, uh, it depends on the plants which are on the temperature. And they also have ACs in the greenhouse. If, the if like, strawberries, it needs to be grown, like, in very co- uh, cold weather. So, they put ACs in the greenhouse so it, ca- it can be cool. Okay, strawberries grow in cool area, okay. And, okay, they, they are used for growing plants, okay. Yes, Joshua, you have something to say? Uh, is it because, like, when the rays go in through the glass, mm. they bounce around and they can't go out? And the plant, the point of the greenhouse is to keep the plants in there so they can carry out photosynthesis and make their food. Yes, very good. Okay, let's move forward a little bit. Okay, now, okay, let's stop here. Now, Eva, what, what season do you think is that? Is it summer or autumn or winter or spring? Which one? What do you see over here? There's a little snowman. So what season is it, Eva? Winter. Yes, very good. Now, Edward, you have something to say? The weather is also winter with snowman. <laughs> okay, yes, the season is winter. Okay, so this greenhouse is very useful in trapping heat. Okay, so in the day when the sunlight comes in, okay, the sunlight will bounce around and there will also be heat. So when the sunlight bounces around, it will be converted to heat. And this house can help to trap heat to keep the night. All right, so that they can grow well even in winter. So what is happening? Okay, just like what Beryl shared, okay, okay, all something is surrounding Earth that's making it hot as well. Okay. And what what is surrounding Earth? What do you think is surrounding Earth? Ethan, what do you think is this light blue thing that is around Earth? Mm, some gases. Gases, very good. Okay. It's greenhouse now, gases. Edward, greenhouse gases, very good. Okay, Edward, it's, you have something? It's like ozone layer. Okay, okay, we have ozone layer surrounding. I wanted to know what's a methane because I know already what is carbon dioxide and water vapor. Okay. I don't know what's a methane. I kind of when something you burn things uh, also okay in their uh, you know in their uh, uh, waste matter okay they give off a kind of gas okay okay from animals okay well Okay, carbon dioxide, water vapor, and methane, this all, all these gases will trap the heat, okay, and cause okay, all these things that are coming out, which okay, methane gas by uh, lesser, um, lesser cars, look, all these factories or Okay, so instead you can use electric cars, quick trans, and also use cleaner energy so you don't burn all the. Now, shall we move on to the next question? Okay, so the release of this gas heat. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Temperature to increase. Yes. Perfect. So now, third question is on the way. (laughs) Third question. Okay. I just wanted to say something. Yes, Danush? I couldn't hear sometimes. It's like... Uh, Sunny, so that that was maybe... uh, I also had that problem. Uh, I thought that might be from the internet connection, but 
Maybe we can try again. Uh, Sunny, maybe you, can you speak? Will we be able to hear okay. you? Okay. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? No. Yeah. I think it is good. good? Right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, just a quick uh, explanation that Sunny was making uh, in this video. Like glass greenhouse atmosphere acts the same way and traps some of the heat inside so it's like a blanket right on top of the world and as the blanket gets thicker and thicker it traps more heat and it increase the temperature of atmosphere so for 100 years now with all those factory gases with those fossil fuels coming out of uh, the greenhouse gases coming out from burning fossil fuels the increasing the thickness of atmosphere layer so it actually traps more gas and more every year and it is dangerous for forests for animals for underwater life and for humans as well so we are not adapted to increasing temperatures right so if you want to live healthy we need to use fossil fuels less and less and we need to quit using them okay so yes sunny was yes. explaining that sunny was explaining that and there was a like misconnection and now we are oh. moving to question number three okay we can also use electric cars that's right oh, electric cars Spanish. they don't give up harmful gases yeah so over the last 100 Yes, as Suhan was sharing, okay, there has been a lot of greenhouse gases that were given off because of the industrial revolution. There are many factories, there are many cars that give rise to all these harmful gases. So we need to stop and reduce all this, okay? Now let's take a look at another problem, which is three. Let's take a look, Suhan. Yes, now question number three. Okay, now reducing landfill waste. Okay, now can everyone, can we, uh, before we show the video, let's go one round, okay? What do you think are some of the waste or the rubbish that we have, that we generate? Now, maybe let's start from Barrow. Barrow, what do you think are some of the rubbish that we throw into the dustbin every day? Pero, what yeah. do you think uh, are some of the rubbish that or waste that we throw into the dustbin? Um, about the plastics, uh, I want to talk about. So yeah. when when I go grocery shopping, I see yeah. like so many fruits and vegetables packaged, but we can also have those in like our bags, which is not plastic, and. There is also a big waste of um, straws. I heard someone or I read on Google or something, uh, a sentence says 7 million people said that it's only one straw. Uh, so it is making a big waste. And we're also packaging those uh, trashes like uh, plastic trashes in plastic bags and then yes. throw them away. So okay. it's like being a, like it's being so wasteful. Yes, very good. So Beryl gave a few examples. For example, like the food packaging. For example, like straws. Okay, Edward, you have something to say. Edward, do you want to share with us what kind of rubbish do we throw into the dustbin? Like wasted food. Okay, so uh, even like remote okay. control or anything, okay, we don't want it okay. and yes. throw in the rubbish bin. <laughs> Maybe I saw a fish or anything like rice. Yes, very good. Okay, how about Tori? What kind of rubbish do we throw into the dustbin? Like plastic bottle. <laughs> very good. Okay, Joy, yes. What kind of paper. rubbish? Paper, very good. How about Ethan? Mm, plastic bottles, cans. Plastic bottles, paper. okay. Aluminum can. Everything okay, we about, do. Yes, Eva. 
Emma, what do we throw into the dustbin? We also throw. We also throw. Anush. Anush, what do we throw? What do we throw? We throw. Uh, we throw liquid waste. Liquid waste, and, okay. And also solid rubbish. Okay, it can be solid or liquid. Okay, Eva, what what else do we throw into the dustbin? Um, cans and Sorry? cans. Cans, very good. Okay, and how about Joshua? Uh, polymers that don't degrade into the soil. Okay, polymers, okay, that could be in the form of uh, plastic polymers, uh, like a uh, huge uh, chemical molecules that's together. Mm -hmm. Okay, very yeah. good. <laughs> and Joshua, very good knowledge. Okay, so uh, yes, we throw away uh, different, different uh, kinds of uh, waste every time, uh, every day. It could be straws, okay, uh, food waste, cans, plastic bottles, paper. Oh, that's a lot of them. But where would all these waste go? Let's take a look at the video, okay? Thank you everyone for your sharing. Okay, so it will go to a place called landfill. Let's take a look. Okay, we're using landfill please, but what about those that didn't get into the landfill? Now, this is our ocean. Let's take a look, okay? Okay, let's pause here for a while. Now, um, Anush, what do you see over here? I see waste in a mountain. In a mountain, okay. Now it is in the ocean. Now, uh, Joy, what do you see? Can you name one thing that you see over here? There, there's an island of rubbish. Okay, island of rubbish. Okay, Eva, what is what is Tuhan pointing to, Eva? A plastic bag. Plastic bag. Very good. Okay. And how about, how about the other one? Emma, do you know what's that? <laughs> um, it's like another type of like can. Or Emma, something. okay. Yes, another plastic bottle. Okay. What could the green thing be? What could the green thing be? And what? What is that? What is that green thing? It's, I long. Think it's like um, anything like a drink one. Drink, okay. Also, but made of glass one. Yes, very good. It looks like a glass bottle. Can okay. I just say something? Yes, okay. Daniel, what do you want to say? Uh, we throw all of the waste in the trash can and then uh, the municipality comes and takes the uh, trash can waste and they dump to the tr uh, the truck and they bring they, they go to the mountains and they just burn the waste. Okay, yes. Okay, so there are a lot of ways. Okay, they could go to a mountain, okay? Or somewhere with a lot of space. Now, Beryl, Beryl, what, how do you think all this rubbish uh, or plastic waste or different kinds of waste get into the ocean? Where do they come from? Um, like uh, when we throw something to the trash, uh, they are people that are picking them up and like sending them to somewhere. But mm -hmm. if it's not, uh, if they're sending to the ocean or like putting into the ocean or people do that, uh, it will be harmful for the nature. And mm -hmm. um, we, if we mix plastics into the ocean or to the soil it will be so bad but we can i think we can mix uh, our food into the soil that we don't eat that we will be throwing into the trash that will be good. a good thing yes okay so food waste okay we are going to talk about that later very good and um how about josh do you have anything to say why would be uh why would it go into the ocean all this plastic trash could it be some people okay like Beryl said there are some people who collect it okay they really throw it into the ocean or like how did they get into the ocean uh, sometimes just people take the rubbish from lots of high dump areas and take it to the ocean because there's so much space like it, the okay. ocean is really big and it's really deep so people think they, they can throw it in and it'll just be gone forever Okay, okay, so uh, 
Okay, uh, thank you very much everyone for the discussion. Okay, so um, all this plastic waste can go into the ocean in a few ways, okay, all the different kinds of waste. Okay, one could be when the trash collectors went to collect all this, okay, some of the wind is blowing, okay, or when uh, it, there is a lot of littering by the beach or uh, on land, okay, all these litters may get into the sea when the wind sweeps it, or when they get into the drain, okay, they will make their way to the ocean, okay. And some plastics may also be flushed down from the toilet, okay. All right, so that's why we are having a lot of uh, waste, okay. They could also be from all the boats or all the fishermen, okay, that have all their items, okay. And due to the water current, they will all pile up. In the Pacific Ocean, okay, so there's a very massive amount of plastic waste in our ocean, okay, that is very difficult to clean up, okay. Can you imagine if uh, all of us are the marine life, okay, marine animals, and our home has so much plastic, okay, okay, and they are not able to clear them, okay, so what is one way that we can do? Well, let's take a look at the question. Okay, now, by recycling items, we can help to reduce the landfill waste. Now, which of the following items can be placed in the recycling bin? So, okay, by recycling things, okay, we can reduce the things, okay, and reduce the chances of waste that get into the ocean. Now, what, which of the items can be recycled? Is it A, aluminum pan, B, plastic water bottle, C, magazine, or D, all of the above. You have 10 seconds. Your time starts now. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Okay, a lot of us chose B. Okay, very good. All of them can actually be recycled. Let's take a look at another video to find out more. Okay. So let's see. Okay, there's a little boy and a little girl. Okay, Edward, what are they doing? What is the little boy and girl doing? Okay, let's pause for a while. Okay, Edward, what is the little boy and girl doing? Okay, let's they are again. recycling those like food, plastic things or anything to a recycle box. Okay, they are, they are collecting some waste, okay, and some, okay, and they are deciding what to throw into the recycling bin. Okay, now this is the recycling symbol. Okay. Now, Eva, okay, let's pause over here for a while. Let's pause the video. Okay, now Eva, what do you see? What happened to the to the crush and old plastic bottle? Okay, what happens after recycling, Eva? Well, it basically gets fixed and reused. Okay, they are reused. Very good. They turn into new products. Okay, it's a new plastic water bottle. Now let's move on. Okay, now, hold on, let's pause over here. Okay, Danush, what was the little girl holding? She's holding the bananas uh, okay, skin. Okay, banana skin, okay. Ethan, do you think that this can be placed in the recycling bin? Nope. <laughs> what about Joy? What do you think? Nope. <laughs> no, okay. Okay, look, the, the old plastic bottle turned into a new one, right? Do you think, do you think this banana skin can turn into a the, new banana? The, banana, <laughs> uh, the no. banana skins could not be recycled, so uh, it should go on the trash. It should go into the trash. Now, Joshua, what do you think? Should it go into the trash bin or the recycling bin? Uh, trash bin. Trash bin, okay. Now, let's take a look, okay? Let's look further. Okay, where should she throw this? Very good, okay. The staff asked her to throw it in the trash bin. Okay. Now, what is shown over here? Okay. Also, wow. Okay, Edward, what do you see? What is one product that you see? Let's pause. Like, 
like fluffy pants. This is like pants. pants and okay, and uh, no, yeah, glass of those bottles glass and cheap. <laughs> uh, there's like this magazine and the other one is plastic, plastic bag. Okay. okay, yes. Okay. Remember that not all plastics are can be. There'll be some numbers to it. One to seven. We have we have a problem with uh, Sunny's voice again. Uh, right. It is coming and going. Maybe Sunny, we can try again. Sorry about it. Can everyone hear? Uh, I think it continues. Maybe yeah. I can explain the rest. So okay. all of these things, materials actually, they go to recycling plants to recycle. And the things that you see, uh, like banana, uh, guys, it is an organic waste. So what does it mean? What does it mean, organic waste? Huh? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very Okay. Um, we can mix it with soil, so Perfect. it won't be a trash, and it will be good for the nature. And yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So why? I mean, what happens after you bury the banana uh, under or uh, any other organic waste under the soil? What happens? Turns into soil. It, it, it feeds the soil, guys. It feeds the soil. Soil needs food as well. So after you eat inside of banana, you put outside of banana underground, under <laughs> soil. And then vitamins, the minerals inside of the banana mixes with soil. What happens then? Then, happens it, then? then it becomes carbon dioxide. You, you think that? You think it becomes carbon dioxide? The nope. the outside of banana? Huh? No. No. Like the the bacterias eat that, I guess, and uh, it will be mixed with the soil. And, okay. it, and then? Uh, and with that soil, uh, another banana tree could grow and it will be not recycled, but cycled. Yeah, it would be cycled. So it is like carbon cycle, right? So. Yeah other plants can use that mine mineral and you know what uh, what does it called i mean what do you call this this process yeah joshua uh, i i i thought the wrong thing i thought the wrong thing no worries it starts with B. yeah okay okay now uh, can you hear me Han? yeah right now sorry okay. Okay, good. Yeah, so all these food waste, okay, they can be broken down naturally, okay, by the bacteria in the soil, okay, into simple substances, okay? okay. Very good. <laughs> okay, and then some gases released out could be methane or it could be carbon dioxide as well, and it will release all the nutrients. So what do we do with food waste, okay, because we can't recycle them? Sometimes we will put them together with all the garden waste matter, Okay, and then after that, okay, we will leave it for a long time, okay, in, in oxygen, with oxygen, okay, it will break down, okay, at a high temperature to kill off all the other bad bacteria, okay, or other microorganisms, and it will be very good for use as fertilizers, okay, after a lot of check. All right, and we also we also can use some um, special um, bacteria, okay, methanogen, to break down our food items, okay, waste food items, and they can give off biogas, okay, in the absence of oxygen, okay, and they will also produce fertilizer. So food waste are very good, and I believe that uh, our countries are are also starting to collect food waste and use them as fertilizers, okay, or as biogas to help to reduce the carbon dioxide emission at the landfill because if all this food waste, okay, or the waste gets a lot, okay, at the landfill, they will release a lot of greenhouse gases, remember? Greenhouse gases that trap the heat 
which is very bad for all our corals, okay, and everything, okay, bad for us as well, okay. There will be more rainfall, more drought, more flooding, very hot weather, okay. Sometimes now we all feel very hot, okay, at certain points of the year. Okay, now let's move on. And guys, there is a challenge inside of Twink mobile application. You can make your own compost. So what I want you to do is after the show, you download the Twink application and then found, find the compost challenge. And then you collect some food, organic waste, egg cartons, egg shells, okay? In, inside of your home, you cut it into pieces, into little pieces, and then find the right place to bury them under the soil. And then I want you to take the video of it and share your video experiment inside of the mobile application. You will see that helping nature is very easy and compost is very nice to very nice way to do it. So yeah, we have our four question ready. Okay, let's take a look at the fourth question. Okay, uh, plastic items. Now, just now we saw that there are a lot of rubbish in our oceans, okay? And plastic items are one of them. Wait, let's what is the answer for the third one? Okay, third one. Okay, let's move back. Okay, the third one, all of the above, okay? So, all the items can be recycled, okay? But before we recycle them, remember to clean them properly. Okay, like our plastic water bottle, let's clean them first. <laughs> okay. Now let's move on to the fourth question. Okay, let's take a look. Now, 400 year problem. Okay, plastic. Okay, because plastic takes a, a long time to degrade, break down. Okay. Now there are a lot of plastic items. Wow, look, this is the landfill. Okay. Plastic cause climate change. Okay, now, what happened? What's happening, Eva? What's happening to all the marine animals? What do you see? Um, they're dying from the plastic. They're dying, okay, yes. Okay, what will the plastic or the waste do to them? Okay, Eva? They cannot breathe and die. <laughs> they can't breathe, okay. What's happening inside their body now? Okay, at Ethan, what's happening? Uh, they ate those, uh, this bird thought this waste was fish, and then it ate the waste. Okay, then it got, yes. Then what's it happening? Died. Okay, yes, so the birds will eat the plastic items, okay, and fishes as well. Now, for you, what happens when, when all the plastic items fill their stomach? Do you think they can still eat more food? No, they die. Okay, no, Danush, what do you think? Are they still able to they eat? Will, no, they are not able to eat a plastic. That's right. Okay, when the plastic fill their stomach, they can't eat anymore and they will starve. Okay, now the next two questions. Let me, me, let me ask Joshua. Joshua, why do you think we could be eating plastic or drinking plastic? Yes, because when plastic like goes on for a long time, it starts like falling apart and it turns into these really, really tiny molecules that can like go past water filtering. Sometimes we drink it, wow. and sometimes <laughs> the fish eat it. Yes, very good. So these plastic items get so small, it's not easy to filter them, okay, past our water treatment system. Now, Beryl, do you have anything to share? Why do you think we could be eating plastic or drinking them? Um, yeah, because like when a fish eats plastic from the yeah. sea and then yeah. someone eats that fish, um, they are eating plastic in some kind of way, and in the water, they are like little plastics like the size of microorganisms and we're also drinking them yes okay very good <laughs> okay so all this plastic waste okay in the ocean they can break down okay when there's sunlight so they can break into microplastic that's smaller than 5 mm of your ruler or even smaller okay and when the fishes are 
or the or the um they can get into water or they can get into the fish's stomach okay and all the way into their body okay the body of the fishes and when we eat them or drink all these things they may have some effect on us but there's still research ongoing about that okay let's take a look at the question okay i'm okay. going to tell you something now tiny plastic particles are also found in our everyday products okay can end up in the ocean and get eaten by marine animals. Which of the following products contain tiny plastic particles? Now, is it A, body wash with micro bits for removing dead skin cells? B, sunblock? C, toothpaste? Or D, all of the above? Now you have 10 seconds. <laughs> All right. Okay. Everyone, a lot of people chose all of the above. Okay. Now let's take a look at a video and we'll discuss more. Wow. Now let's look at this video. Okay. Let's play the video, Zuhan. All right. Oh, there are some products. Let's stop here. Okay. Now, Edward, what do you see? What are the products? What could the products be? Yes, Edward? I saw, like, body wash. Body wash. Very good. Okay. Joy, what do you see? What products is that? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Very good. Okay. And let's move on. Oh, there's even something that you can put on your face, like makeup. Okay. Now well, let's take a look. Okay, so all these factory producers, they will put all these microplastic particles. Oh, what is happening? Okay, Ethan, what is happening now? When when uh, after bathing, what is happening? Um. The thing which we use, that kind of shampoo and all, yes, they go down uh, through the drainage. Yes, very good. Then okay. it reaches the ocean. Yes, okay. Now, Danush, do you think they are really, really small? Yes. Yes, okay. Eva, what is the color turning into now? Of this plastic particle, microplastic particle, what is... What is happening? What do you think is happening, Eva? It's like um, turning black and... Yes, it's turning black. Okay, Edward, what do you want to say? I see toxic. Toxins, okay. And it's okay. also harmful to the sea <laughs> because, in, uh, you, uh, because now when it drops into the drainage and it goes to the sea, so it will be harmful. Okay, very good. Okay. Wow, it can be a billion times more toxic, okay? When it gets into the ocean, it absorbs everything. It's like a sponge, okay? That absorbs all the toxic items. Oh, Barrow, what is happening, Barrow? To so all the microplastic that is getting into the sea. Uh, when the girl showered, uh, she used the body wash or something, and there were plastics in it. And yes. uh, the water that... Uh, the water has gone to the ocean, uh, which I think it's wrong, but, and then the fish eat it, and then this guy eat it, and <laughs> it's unhealthy for everyone right now in this yes, situation. Yes, that's right. Yes. Joshua, do you have anything to add on to it? Nothing? No. Okay. Yes, so... Okay, all this uh, harmful plastic, okay, this microplastic are added into our products, okay, to help us. Now, Joshua, do you think, why do you think all these plastics are added into the toothpaste, to the sunscreen, or maybe to our body wash? Um, to add an extra coating, uh, I have no idea. Okay, but... you can make a guess, maybe, you remember the body wash with the bit? Yeah. Why is it useful? Why is it useful to have some bits in the body wash? 
because then it'll scrape off all the dirt. That yes, is very wrong. good. Okay, so they use it because it can help to scrub things off. Okay, or mm -hmm. even uh, in sunscreen, it can act as a protective screen. Okay, but we can use other items, okay, such as sea salt for the scrubbing, okay, which are not as harmful. All right, so I think some countries have a ban on using all these microplastic items. Now, um, let's uh, move on. Okay, so all our some of our personal care products may have all these microplastics that are getting into the ocean, okay, and we should avoid that. Now, for the next question, I'm going to show you a video. Guys, just be aware that the like the best food might have microplastics inside. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how tasty the food is. It's about using less and less plastic. Okay. So <laughs> you didn't know this like 50 years ago. People were not aware of that. So we use too much plastics, enough <laughs> plastic for hundreds of years. So it is about time. We need to stop and use recyclable glass materials and we need to be like taking care of our own waste because it ends up coming inside us. Okay? Eat yes, us. that's right. So what happens after we eat the fish which ate the <laughs> microbes? The plastic what do you think? Water. What do you think? Is it good <laughs> for our health? It is good for our health, do you think? No. Okay, yeah, it's not good for our health, okay, because when all this microplastic get into the stomach or the digestive system of the fish, okay, it may get into their body tissue, okay, and when we eat fish meat, it may stay inside our body. And uh, currently, there's still more research ongoing to know, like, uh, what is the definite um, harmful effects, okay, but it's definitely not good for our body, okay. Good. Because some of the plastic is so toxic. Remember, the microplastic acts as a sponge to absorb all the toxin, okay, which is very bad. So now let's all try to reduce the usage of plastic items, okay, and recycle and reuse them when we can. Okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at a lovely story about some plastic waste in the ocean, okay, how the kind will helps to clean up the ocean. Okay, now let's take a look. Oh, okay, let's pause here. Okay, now, uh, Troy, what, what uh, item did you see? What did they take out from the fishing net? What's that? Straw, very good. Bottles. Yes, very good. Okay, now, Eva, can you tell me what dropped into the ocean after that? Something okay, let's see. If the last one's answer is all of the above. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, it is all of the above, Danish. Okay. So all of the products have tiny microplastic particles, which is not good, okay? All right. Now let's take a look. Okay, something dropped. Eva, what is that? And the child dropped into the ocean. The net. Very good. Okay, the fishing net. So remember just now the garbage patch that we saw in the previous video? Okay, ha uh, close to half of it, okay, are uh, are uh, waste from the uh fishing industry, such as um fishing nets and all that. Okay, there are a lot of uh, waste that ends up in the ocean just like that, okay. Okay, it worked. Which animal caught the fishing net? <laughs> the whale. Very good, the whale. Okay, what is it going to do? Let's take a look. Okay, Danush, what will the whale do? Will it? Oh, no. What is will the, what is the, hmm. You can tell me what you see, Danush. I see plastic in the ocean. Plastic okay, bag. plastic bag, okay. The turtle was trying to eat the sea jelly, but, okay, it bit onto the plastic bag. Okay, now, Ethan, what did the whale do? What did the whale do, 
the whale is helping them. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Okay, you you know that uh sometimes the hermit crab they pass crabs as their home, okay, which is not supposed to be the way. The whale the whale took all of the plastic wastes or the waste from the ocean and uh, in into the net. So, so do you think that because it is able uh, because it's yeah. harmful to the ocean and the sea creatures will be the sea creatures will die to it. Yes. Now Vero, do you think the wheel can go on like this? Can you repeat? Yes. Uh, do you think no. the whale can go on like this? No, he'll sink. Okay, what's happening now? Oh dear. He's oh, sinking. What happened to the whale now? It's taking too much plastic that it can't handle the weight. Okay, now all the, the whale helps those fish. And now those fish are helping the whale. <laughs> the creatures are helping them to push the whale so all of the plastic, all of the waste can be removed from the ocean. That's right. Okay, so it's a, it's a, we'll need everyone's help. Okay. Now they remove the net from the whale and it's free. Okay. Now, Beryl, do you want to make a guess of... um? How long the plastic waste may stay in the ocean? Make a rough guess. Um, I don't know the uh, number, but yes, I know it's time? like a really long time because really it's not a time. natural thing. Yes, yeah. very good. And, and how about... Hmm, yes. I think there's a connection problem with Beryl. Uh, yeah, okay. we couldn't hear you, Beryl, uh, for okay, last Beryl, words. Yeah. Yes, maybe you can repeat a bit, Beryl. You can repeat. Yeah, uh, I just said that I know that it's a long time because it's not a natural thing. It's not from nature. nature. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't know the exact number. Okay, yes, okay. It will be a long time. Very good because it does not great naturally. Now, Kasha, I would like, do you have something to say? Is it like over a hundred years? Because it takes, okay. the quickest it can take to degrade on land is around 10 years, but those are really small plastics and yes. it's in the ocean. So okay. it's going to take a really long time for so just oh, one to just good. go away. Very good. Yes, it will take a long time, definitely. Yes, more than 10 years. Okay, now, Joshua, uh, I would like to ask you, what do you think will happen uh, to the animals if there are a lot of plastic waste in the ocean? What will, what harm will it cause to the animals? Um, we could, we'll start killing them, or we could, like, I've seen this article on Google, like, some of the animals are adapting to it and changing so much, like, it's like, I can't remember, the bottom whale, um, the nose, has changed its shape because of how many times the plastic has been caught on it. So oh, we're, okay. we're changing the wildlife with our mistake. Yes, that's right. We are, all our actions, okay, are actually having an impact on all the marine animals which are very innocent around us, okay, such as causing the some body structure changes, okay, to all the sea animals. And do you, uh, Beryl, do you know uh, what other harmful effects will the plastic waste have on the animals? Like seen in the video just now, uh, like uh, some, what, what was happening yeah. to all the marine animals? Yes. Hello? Uh, first of all, yes. if, like uh, a plastic, they, um, like, I don't know how to say that. They're uh, losing their abilities to, like, um, breathe or something if a plastic oh, yes. comes. Very good. Uh, and if they eat it, uh, 
if they eat it, they the plastic will harm their body inside and be yes. like a sickness or something. That's right. Okay. So it may cause them to suffocate, okay, unable to breathe if it pots just or uh, uh, like limits their body or lung like to extend. Yes, or gills, okay. And then uh, it may also cause them to uh, have harmful effects on their body, okay. And it may also cause them to drown, okay. Let's say if they are unable to swim anymore. Now, let's take a look at and learn more about plastic waste, okay. And the next question, that's our last question, okay. So you can make a good guess. Which plastic item takes the longest to break down in the ocean? Is it A, plastic bag? B, Plastic drink holder, C, a plastic straw, or B, a plastic bottle. Okay. I guess I think it's D. Okay, wow, a lot of people. Okay, there were some different answers. Okay, now, uh, Edward, what do you choose? Edward, your answer, what do you choose? I choose plastic bag. Plastic bag. What about Joy? Plastic bag. Plastic bag, okay. Okay, anyone chose drink holder, which is the six ring drink holder, anyone? Yes, yep. me. Me. Yes, me. <laughs> okay, Ethan and Danish. Okay, who chose plastic straw? No one. Okay, how about plastic bottle? Okay, now let's take a look. The bigger okay. one takes the most time. <laughs> the bigger one takes the most time. Okay, now let's take a look at the next video. Okay, it will reveal the answer to us. Okay, now let's take a look. Okay, plastic bag. Okay, so plastic bag is the shortest of all. Okay. And next will be aluminum can. Okay, by the way, aluminum can and glass bottle, they are very good materials to be reused again and again. Okay, so we can try to reuse and recycle them. Okay. Some plastics like cling film, okay, or thinner plastic, they may clog the recycling. Uh, machines and some of them are not recycled okay so only the plastic bottles okay next will be the plastic drink holder and how many years is that 400 years yes that's very long okay that's why it's a 400 year problem just now okay plastic water bottle is the last very good 50 years wow that's right. okay and we have fishing line how about the glass bottle and this kind of special balloon that's coated with a layer of foil? They're called the Myla balloons, okay, M-Y-L-A-R. Okay, oh, one million, okay. So it's very hard for these glass bottles. and the Never. <laughs> okay, they don't really break down, okay, oh, uh, under the natural conditions. <laughs> so we can try to reuse them. These Myla balloons can be reused. All right, so all these not, items take very long to break down. Okay, like plastic bottle is about 450 years. So let's all try to reduce all these plastic waste and uh, prevent them from entering the homes of all our marine animals. Okay? And also, when you are like having a walk in the nature or outside of, the, of your home, you may see some plastics, right? People are not aware of that. Plastic is harmful to nature or uh, like life, animal life to our life. So they might not be aware. Try to warn them, guys. Try to make them aware. And also, if you see any plastic waste or glass one, just pick it up and then put it into recycling bin. That's one thing that we can help those who can help. Remember, remember the whale animation where he was trying to collect all the things but he cannot he cannot make every place clean by himself so we need to help each other and we need to help who those help i mean we need to help to people who are collecting these wastes right 
they are that not only that they are responsible, but also we are responsible, and we need to let everyone know and increase this awareness throughout the world. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so it's everyone's effort. Okay, a little effort goes a long way. So let's all do our part to help to recycle. Okay, and we use all these items so that there'll be lesser waste. Okay, okay, that accumulates at all the landfill to release the greenhouse gas that is uh, making Earth hotter, which is not good for the marine life. Okay, and all our plastic waste that gets into the ocean is very dangerous. Okay, for the marine animals and us as well if it gets into our food. Yes, okay. Ethan. Yes, Ethan. Um, which one does more effect? The one which takes longer time to be the, small, uh, break up in the water, or the one which uh, doesn't take longer time? Which one does more effect? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think, guys? Danush? The one which does, the one which does, the one which does not take long. Uh, the one who just takes little time. Hmm. Joshua, <laughs> what do you say? I think it's the one that takes the longest time, like the, uh, the one that does never, because it will be used by one fish, then it'll go into another one, then another one, then another one, then another one. Then another one, then another one, yeah. then another one. <laughs> it takes like hundreds of years because it has too many plastics inside, like plastic bottle. It is very thick, right? So it has more microplastics inside. So it will take longer time to dissolve, to like separate into microplastics. So it will have effect for a longer time of period and it will like uh, harm the nature. Is it clear, Ethan? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so the one that breaks down quickly, they will may get uh, eaten by the animals very quickly and it may harm the environment. But those that stay for a long time, okay, they may have chances of entangling the animals, okay, animals eating them up, okay, so they also have their kind of impact, okay. And for the microbeads, okay, which is found in our products, they can absorb all the toxins, which is very harmful, okay, and that is very dangerous as well. So all of them oh. will affect us. So maybe Sunny, you can let everyone about know about Steam Festival for young learners. Okay, so now everyone look at the badge that I'm wearing. Okay, we are having our Steam Festival soon. Okay, and a Kids Stop and Science Center is organizing it for the second time. Okay, and we hold it yearly. We promise you a great lineup of fun field activities. Okay, that you can use your creativity in. Okay, and you can also join us, okay, by uh, doing it virtually from your home, okay, or if not, you can come down, okay, to Kids Stop at Science Center Singapore to explore uh, all the endless possibilities and also um, do up all the crazy ideas with us, okay, and have fun, okay. So take note of this film festival, okay, you can scan the QR code for more information. Thank you, Sunny, for letting us know about the STEAM Festival. And this was the second one, uh, second STEM quest that we organized in partnership between Twin Science and Singapore Science Center. So now we are saying goodbye to all of our friends from YouTube. Yes. The Edward. Oh, oh, so, oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Before we go, wait on. Can I? Can we all take a group photo? Yeah, of course. So, guys, hey, you, uh, I wanted to know uh, who was the last uh, week's winners. The oh, week uh, we have we have we have one winner from last week. Uh, so, uh, I we will announce the winners of last week and this week in our Instagram account, Twin Science Instagram account. So, follow our Twin Science Instagram account and. Uh, you will know the winners of last STEM quest and today's STEM quest show. Okay, okay. Donush? Okay, yeah. now everyone, shall we pose and take a group photo? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone, smile. It's really an enjoyable session with all of you. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. We are saying goodbye to our friends from YouTube. Thanks, guys. Edward, Zoe, Eva, Joshua, Beryl, 
Ethan Danush. Thanks again for a great STEM quest. And we will see each other in next quest. So don't All forget right. to don't forget to download the Twing mobile application and have fun. <laughs> I have it already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I see have you the next twin time, application already. Okay, thank you, Danush. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs>